Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Welcome once more to another video podcast of PNT Live, brought to you by PNTLive.net. I'm your host, Alexandra Mayers. Very quickly, before I begin the second half of my day, I just wanted to pop in and share with some of you my thoughts in regards to quite a bit of drama unfolding on social media in regards to what I suppose I'll just go ahead and dub the luxury companion scandal fallout. Yes, because ever since March 5th, or March 6th rather, since um, some reports have come out in regards to Derek Hay and Dwight Cunningham of LA Direct Models and the Luxury Companion being taken to task and dealing with some legal consequences in regards to allegations and charges of pimping, pandering, and elements linked to sex trafficking, the adult entertainment industry blogosphere has been quite a buzz with rumors, he said, she said, sorts of, you know, antics. And um, the most dramatic out of everyone sharing what they feel like needs to be put into the public foray seems to be a young woman known as um, Bella Rose. Bella Rose. Um, first and foremost, I've noticed um, a few people wanting to attack her by labeling her as being racist. Is she racist? Yes. But I don't want to see any white privilege enabled individual who considers themselves to be a professional within the adult entertainment industry hypocritically labeling her racist because truth be told, the entire adult entertainment industry, specifically the American pornographic industry is racist. It would not exist were it not for racism because the truth is the legal pornography industry is completely built upon the platform of white privilege. It is designed to benefit those who are enabled by white privilege, as is the Nevada legal brothel system. In fact, when you really think about it, and I've said this before, it's just pure comedy to me <laughs> that you had the legal brothel system of Nevada not only run headed by a white privilege enabled male known as Dennis Hoff, but on top of that, he was so enabled by white privilege that he became a Republican politician died of mysterious circumstances, yet still managed to win a Nevada election. If that's not white privilege, I really don't know what is. But um, if you're going to attack Bella Rose, attack her for other things, but not for being racist, because every single person who I see throwing that at her, aside from Bobby Dylan, <laughs> is so enabled by white privilege that it's sick. You're all hypocrites. Anyone who's ever condoned or turned a blind eye to that race-based wage gap within the adult entertainment industry and what I'm talking about has to do with blacks being paid substantially less per scene than their white counterparts. I don't wanna hear shit about racism. I don't even talk much about racism anymore because it's just kind of a given that the industry is racist. But what I will question, and some of you are gonna get mad at me for even questioning this, but I'm gonna question it. If it had not become public knowledge that Dwight Cunningham, one of the operators of the Luxury Companion, was a man of color or is a man of color, would he still have been taken to task legally? Because for quite some time, people didn't know that he was black. He doesn't want to define himself as black, but he's black and these past um, legal consequences that he just faced, that was his uh, inward wake up call. But let, let me continue with some more thoughts. Now let's talk about someone who's been a catalyst for a lot of these allegations coming to public knowledge when it comes to the sex trafficking and whatnot, but who no one's talking about. No one's talking about a white privilege enabled male talent known as Lucas Frost. 
Very quickly, I want to review a chain of events that happened behind the scenes that revolves around Adria Ray, one of the um, accusers of Derek Hay, one of the Jane Doe's, Bella Rose, who as of current is defending Derek Hay, and Lucas Frost. A couple of years ago, Adria and Derek were friendly with one another. According to Bella Rose, Adria was one of his favorites, teacher's pet, okay? But they had a falling out. Adria then began dating Lucas. Now, for some reason, I don't know why, but if somebody wants to reach out to me with some details, I would love to know. For some reason, Adria and Bella kind of became at odds. Was it because of competition? Was it because of personality conflicts? Was it because um, Bella appears to come from a, um, a bit of an impoverished background and Adria? I'm very curious as to where she comes from because there's something going on with that girl. But for some reason, they don't like each other and they get into it. And in retaliation, it seems, Lucas did something that I think should have him permanently barred from the adult entertainment industry. He did something that it seems, at least according to Bella Rose, Derek Hay tried to handle, but it seems that he went about it the wrong way, okay? What Lucas Frost did was he essentially weaponized sex on set against Bella Rose. Without Bella Rose's consent, he ejaculated in her eye. And it's not funny, yet it is. But to this day, she's upset about that. And if I were her, I would be upset too because her rights as a human being were breached by him doing that. And then on top of it, he didn't just admit to purposefully weaponizing a sexual act against Bella, which is a form of sexual assault, but he posted about it in a gloating way on social media. But let me tell you something else that Lucas Frost posted. And I think that the industry itself should hold him to it. He posted on May 11th of 2018, what you all are missing is that if Bella really felt it was sexual assault, she wouldn't have promoted the scene. Please tell me I'm wrong. Bitch, you are wrong. You are wrong, Lucas Frost. So he continues, and if you want me out of the industry, the only way that will happen is if Derek goes too, and I'll gladly leave. Well, guess what, bitch? Lucas, Derek's on the out. So I think it's time for you to pack your bags. And what is it that you're calling yourself nowadays? The natural? And then you have the little tagline, friends with the cool kids? You, first off, you're not a kid. You're a grown man. You're an adult working in the adult entertainment industry. And you're going to weaponize sex against one of your peers and think that you can get away with it? I'm going to talk about you for a while, Lucas Frost. But you need to go ahead and pack up your little bag and you need to leave like you said you would. Because Derek, is he's on the out, so you need to be on the out too. And um, one more thing I want to add has to do with Adria Ray because it's not ethical for anyone to shoot Adria Ray. And if you see this Adria Ray, I'm not saying this because I don't like you. I'm saying this because I am worried about you. Adria, of her own volition, admitted on national TV when she came out against Derek Hay that she has the propensity. <laughs> I'm not laughing at Adria. I'm laughing at the situation because of this right here, at least from my perspective, is exactly why the government is gonna have to step in when it comes to the porn industry and they're already doing it. 
via that assembly bill 2389. <laughs> Adria Ray should not be in the adult entertainment industry. LA Direct Models, it seems, recognized within Adria Ray that she's dealing with some severe <laughs> mental issues. She, in the past, has attempted suicide. Not just once, not three times. I had a complete mental breakdown. Uh, I panicked. I, I did some really stupid things and I attempted to take my own life that night. This has been my fifth time that I have <sighs> attempted suicide before in my entire life. So I can't sit here and say that porn attributed to it at all because I've always struggled with this, even as a 12 year old. Five times. So I thought that Adria was done with the industry. I, I thought Adria Ray was going to go back into civilian life, that she was going to leave the adult entertainment industry behind her. Um, but no, she's attempting to make a comeback, not just as a performer, but as a director. Even though she has an extreme propensity for suicide. Hustler magazine already shot her. They just did a feature on her. It's available in the current issue of Hustler magazine. So I mean, what's going to happen when it comes to Adria Ray at this stage or Bella Rose? Because from what I'm seeing between all the online bullying, the pressure that they're already under just simply being adult actresses and then all of the dramatics revolving around this tlc sex trafficking scandal fallout which one of them is going to end up going the um august ames route i feel like there's going to be another suicide on the very near horizon we're just going to look at social media one day and one of them's just going to write fuck y'all and then what? At the next AVN Expo, someone's going to be selling a damn t-shirt with their face on it?